I buy check. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions. And make sure to hit that subscribe button because you know I got other videos coming out like that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Natasha Kuru and I'm signing out. Just kidding. All right, so we are gonna be talking about how I went from having a 2.7 GPA and then having a 3.6. And now I'm, I'm a little, little proud of myself. That's a that's an accomplishment. You know, I came into my first semester, you know, really excited to start college. You know, I was on my stuff. You know, I was studying all that, but I just came to you know quickly realize that I was not a I was not a good test taker, and um, you know. I felt like I definitely knew the stuff. Like I could teach it to anybody. Like I would teach, like I would always teach my friends like the material and then come time, you know, test time, they get higher scores than me. And it's like, how'd that work, you know? But yeah, specifically chemistry and calculus. Um, you know, mind you, I'm a chemical engineering major. So you would think, you know, chemistry would be my strong suit. And it is, but the tests were just, nah. And so it was like, so for my major, you need to get at least a C minus in calculus. And, you know, for chemistry, you just need, you need to pass. <laughs> you know, that, that's all you need to do. You just need to pass. And um, my grades, um, you know, Virginia Tech, for some reason, the calc department or I don't know, the math department in general, they don't like to show you what your grade is the whole semester. Like, they will let you wait till the end to see what your grade is. And it's like, how am I supposed to track my progress? I, I gotta put that in my dear professor's video. But um, for calculus, like my test averages were 33, 36, 42, 39. You know, it was just, I, I knew from those averages, I was not passing the class. Like, uh, let alone the C minus. There's there no way. There's there no way. And so um, I went to talk to my professor about it, thinking, you know, maybe he could slide some extra credit. He, they don't know. He was not doing that. He was like, um, you know, <laughs> he, you know, click clack on his computer. He was like, um, looking here, um, even if you got a hundred on the test on test four and the final, there's no way you would even pass the class. I said, okay. True. So I was like, so what are my options? He said, drop the class. I said, oh wow. So mind you, I was stressed because if I took a W on calculus, mind you, we can only take three W's in uh, in university. So if I took a W on calculus, that means my second semester, spring semester, I couldn't take physics, I couldn't take the second semester of calculus, which would put me really far back. And so mind you, I'm over here pulling my hair out, I'm like, oh my gosh. But there was nothing else I could do except drop the class. <sighs> and so chemistry, you know, I had a 65, and so I wanted to see mine is so bad. I was pushing. And so, um, what happened, what happened, what happened? Yeah, so I needed to do really good on this final to, you know, boost my grade. So I was talking about finals week. I was studying, studying, studying. I, and for those of y'all like, like know me personally, y'all know, if y'all saw my Snapchat story, I was in the library from... Not the library, but I was studying from 10 a.m. to 12 at night and then repeat the next day. Like, I said, I will get an A on this test. And that's what I did. And so then I didn't get a C minus, but I literally got a 69. For those of y'all that like that 69 joke, get out of here, okay? This is grown folks talking. <laughs> but yeah, it's a 69 is a D plus, so. Yeah. So, we have right at a 2.7. I mean, my other classes, it was, I'm chem lab, I got 100. Like, my other classes was strict. It was just those two classes. And then, um, you know, calculus is four credit hours and chem is three credit hours. So if you do bad in those classes, that's going to punch your GPA. So now we're at spring semester. Darren, if you're watching this video, shout out because he is one of the many reasons why my GPA went to 3.6. Oh, I didn't talk about what my advisor told me. My advisor, I'm sure he meant well, but he was like, um, so right now we're all in general engineering and then our sophomore year is when we declare 
what specific engineering we were going into. And so he was like, um, what engineering did you say you want to do? I said, chemical engineering. He was like, well, uh, typically when we look at that, you know, chemistry, you know, the department won't really, you know, I like have you in favor if your chemistry gets low. So, you know, maybe we should start looking at, you know, other engineering majors, like, you know, exploring our options. You know, we'll, we'll have that conversation at another time. I said, sir, I am doing chemical engineering. That's the end of the discussion. There's no other engineering I want to do. And so you're being very discouraging. And he was like, oh no, I just want to make sure we're being realistic. And I was like, no, you're being pessimistic. Thank you for your time. Like, he really said we should, you know, save that discussion for a later date and you know, we need to explore our options. So, wow, bro, wow. So, I said, you know, people like him is who I got to prove wrong. So, my friend Darian, again, shout out if you're watching, we really sat down and said, what will I need to do to get a three crown? Like, overall. And so, he was like, you're going to have to take a lot of, you know, you know, we call them, what do we call them? We call them like, we, we call them GPA booster classes. And I'm talking about easy elective classes. And so I said, you know what? You're right. So um, my freshman, uh, I'm sorry, my fall semester, I believe I took 14 credits. Yes, I took 14 credits. My second semester, spring semester, I took 19 credits. And that's because, um, so there was a lot of gaps in my schedule because, you know, again, I couldn't take calculus too, and I couldn't take physics. And so I literally filled them up with three credit courses that were online that were elective. So I took World Regions, that were three credit hours. I took Design Appreciation, that was a three credit hour. And I took Engineering Courses, which is a three credit hour, and they were all online, mind you. It was imperative that I got A in those classes in order for my GPA to stay afloat. You know, Darren was like, you know, I don't want to see you with lower than a B in calculus because, you know, I can retake calculus. I was like, lower than a, a, a B? I said, I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I can do that. And then he was like, and honestly, like, in chemistry, you should get a B too. Like, I believe in you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like... Oh my gosh, like I'm stressed because I really have to do good this semester because um again in order to sort of declare our major we needed a three point So mind you this semester I'm on my stuff like I am I am grinding. I don't know if some of you guys like you know y'all use a planner at the beginning of the semester and then fall off. Yeah, don't fall off. Like you need to use a planner. It's very imperative to your success. But the thing is, I didn't really, I didn't use a planner how other people use a planner. Like I made my own type of planner on my iPad and I'll show you guys. All right, so here is my makeshift flow planner. And so what I've already done is I wrote down everything that I have due for this week with the due dates on the side highlighted in red, just so I can like keep organized. And so let's say today is Monday. And so, Looking at what I have highlighted, like around here, it's gonna help me know what to highlight this side. So, let's say I'm looking at my planner right now, and you know, there's assignments that will be due maybe at 5 p.m., there's assignments that will be due maybe at 10, 11, 59, depends. And so, let's say I'm looking at this at, you know, 11, 59. Actually, no, let's start with I'm looking at it in the morning. So I'll say, okay, here are some things that I want to try to complete today. So this is on Monday, you know, today's Monday. I'm going to look through, okay, I need to try to complete this today. Yeah, so that's everything that I have for Monday. And so then I'm like, okay, so I need to watch out for things that's due on Tuesday. So I'm going to highlight these in green just so I could you know, stay on top of things. And if I have enough time today, then I could, you know, go ahead and get those done. Yeah, that's everything that's due to today. And so, um, then I have the gray, which is for optional things that don't have, like, a, a due date. That's, like, this one, this one, 
in this one. All right, and so this is how my planner pretty much looks like. Um, and so if I'm looking at my planner, you know, at 10 o'clock and I have a assignment at 1159, what I'll do is change the pink into yellow. And so when I look at it, I'm like, okay, this is something I need to do right now. Like, I need to do this ASAP. And then um, anytime that I'll complete an assignment, what I'll do is just erase it. So let's say I've done everything for Monday. And so I'll just erase it. And so then that's when my to-do list starts looking empty. And so then by the end of the week, it will just be an empty to-do list. And then I'll start over again on Sunday. And that's it. So I took a bit of time to show you guys that because that was really the holy grail of my DBA, you know, making sure just to try to decrease areas of stress in any way I can. And by doing like that whole planner, I was always on track and I was always on top of things and I was always productive and being productive equals better grades. Next, I would create study plans for each test. I'm talking about you know, in my study plans, I will always redo old homeworks. I would redo, you know, old assignments. And then I would do practice tests. I would redo quizzes, stuff like that. And I like map that all out, which is what you see here. And, you know, it helped me stay organized and it helped me make sure that there was not a part of the, you know, like the unit that I was missing. I was literally doing everything that was assigned over again so I could look at it with fresh eyes. And the next most important thing to do is when you do your homework, a lot of people do it to complete it, but you have to do it to understand it because, I mean, your professors aren't assigning homework just to assign it. Like, they aren't assigning that as busy work. That was high school. This is college. These assignments, like, you better understand the assignments if you want to do all the tests. And next, again, like, I took every single practice test that was out there. Like, there's a website, Coopers, that have, you know, old practice tests from, like, this, you know, as old as 2000. 2008 and then as early as you know 2018 2017 old test versions and so once I you know did a lot of those there was just no way that I could you know be caught off guard with a, a test that could come my way next thing is to get a buddy in each class I'm talking about somebody you can study with somebody you can I guess trade answers with do what you gotta do but somebody that you know you can rely on in that class that can hold you accountable you know be like hey like when you gonna take that you know you want to do the homework have you done the homework yet hey have you studied for the test yet you want to study again someone like that because having like someone to bounce ideas off of is just always gonna be good and honestly like invest in an ipad because if i didn't have an ipad there's no way there's no way there's absolutely no way and I'm, i've honestly been meaning to do a life of a paperless student video but um that's just it's gonna come later it's gonna come later in the uh, when school starts again but um having this ipad literally just makes my life so much better um i recently just got the ipad with a keyboard so literally like <laughs> like it's just so compatible and i could like take notes in class i could you know type them out or i could write them out and it's all on this i don't have to carry on pencil and paper and highlighter and none of that so if you can please save money for an ipad like um say like hold off on getting new clothes and new hair new all of that and invest in my ipad because you will see how well it will make your life or how well it'll make your life how how you will see the improvements it will make to your life. That's what I meant to say. And then lastly, I had no classes on Tuesdays. Well, this is before like coronavirus happened, um, which is super capital of the waste. I made sure to have no classes on Tuesday so I could use that as a day to, you know, just regroup. You know, I also called it like my mental health day because, you know, I'll wake up anytime I wanted. Typically, I'll wake up like at 10 or 11. And, you know, I would just, you know, do face masks, you know, I would listen to music. I would, you know, catch up on any work that I need to catch up on. I would just, I had that day for me to just do what I wanted to do out the week so I could, you know, remain sane. And then, you know, when you know coronavirus came and all classes went to online and I said, bye! And um, Chad definitely came through. 
you know, some of y'all be using check for the wrong reasons, but you know, I use check to study. Like I'm talking about check has every type of question you could think of. And you know, a lot of people say, yo, check is too expensive. Mm. But y'all have Netflix subscriptions, right? Y'all have Apple Music and Spotify, right? Y'all got Hulu, right? Y'all got all these subscriptions, but you can't invest in your education. I mean, so I hope this video helped. Um, I'm so proud of myself from going to a 2.7 to a 3.6 and, you know, just one semester and, um, you know, and obviously like it averaged out to a 3.2. Um, I lied. 3.3? 3.2. One of those. Um, but yeah, like if I didn't, you know, if my friend Darian didn't tell me to take 19 credits just to boost my GPA, I would not be where I am today. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned a lot. I hope you guys, you know, took some, you know, wrote some notes down so you can use that for when school starts up again. But, um, yeah, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is Nadja Crew, and I'm signing out.